Look at this, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Atticus here on the Rescue Rundown. Dave Morris alongside Melinda Pribble from the uh, Central Oklahoma Humane Society. Good to see you. You too. How are things going? Really well, thank you. We're right in the middle or just got started with the 12 Days of Katniss. Yes, We'll talk about that yesterday. promotion in just a second. But in the meantime, you brought this adorable guy. Isn't he so cute? And, and he's actually part of a litter of four. Yeah. Uh, about three of the four look very similar to him. And okay. there's one that um, is... Uh, Got a little bit more black and brown, but they are all amazing dogs. Um, he's Good looking guy right here. <laughs> I mean, his coat looks fantastic and it's adorable. He he is one of one of the cutest I've seen, and I know his foster who is one of our best puppy fosters. This was a really special litter for her. She had a hard time letting go of them. They were um, really amazing pets. So we think that he might be some kind of. Uh, maybe Australian Shepherd, yeah. cattle dog mix. Uh, he will probably be maybe a medium sized dog, about 40 pounds. And uh, he is um, up to date on all of his vaccinations. His adoption fee is $200. And wouldn't he be a perfect Christmas present for him? He's ready to go, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> right here in the middle of December. If yeah. you're looking for a gift idea and adoption such as well, Atticus, you. Uh, it would be a good idea. You can find more cats and dogs in the inventory. The website's really well done at okhumane.org, which has an inventory of who is available. Do Thank you think you. Atticus knows he's wearing cats? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the cameras can pick this up or not, but that's also cool. I think cool. that's a puppy. It's hard to say. There, I think nope. it's. I think you're right. It's a puppy There's and a kitten. kitten. There, there are two stockings it's on this. <laughs> I think you're right. It's a puppy and a kitten. You're I right. know. I thought about that when I was dressing him. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want him to. Uh, Feel too bad about that. Yeah, but you know, he might be great for a home with cats. A lot of times, whenever um, puppies are at a young age and they can be introduced to cats uh, and gotcha. they can kind of grow up with him, then that actually might work out. So. Something. Keep in something mind. to consider yeah all right today on the rescue rundown we're going to talk about the holidays and uh, seasonal plant and decoration uh, safety tips i know the two cats that i have anytime there's a plant or a flower it's like gravity they're just attracted to it for whatever reason they got a munch on it they got a nose through it but that's not necessarily the best thing for a cat or a dog for that matter right you know they get curious about everything and whenever we put things out um, even from the the tree to poinsettias and um, even mistletoe. There are just so many things around the house that um, that can cause a danger at this time of year. So just be mindful with your Christmas tree. You know that's something that uh, yeah. you will want to kind of. Well, that's a good point there. The Christmas tree could topple over. You never know if a, a cat or dog or whatever is going to. Oh they, sure. Whether nose through it or they're playing <laughs> or whatever, just brush up against it. It could go down, which could be all sorts of problems. <laughs> yes, you don't want that. And, um, also, just any kind of ornaments that may be dangerous, you want to keep those hanging kind of higher on the tree so they're not easily accessible. Um, <laughs> they'll probably see those as toys. So Atticus is like, I want to play with this, <laughs> this glass ornament, which may or may not be the, the right idea. Exactly. To do. He looks very playful. He will probably be into a little bit of everything. So yeah, so just be careful about that. Um, you know, there are things that can be poisonous also as far as um, plants, even some lilies and of course poinsettias can be toxic to dogs. So um, just go take a look on our website. We'll have a blog with some different things that you should take a look for, you know, just make sure that your home is, is pet proof as far as the, um, as far as the things that could be toxic you were talking about the lilies, and I see on the notes here that that can cause kidney failure in cats. I don't think I knew that, but that makes sense. That would not be good for a kitty. Right. Yeah, you know, there's so many things that um, could potentially be dangerous that, of course, um, you know, a lot of us just aren't aware of that. But uh, this time of year, it's especially good to read up on what might be, um, what might be dangerous to little pets like Atticus. <laughs> He's like, ah, I finally see myself over here on the monitor, and I look pretty good. Yeah, in fact. you see yourself. Uh, we mentioned uh, that cats or dogs could take down a tree, but then also there's, if you plug in something, that could be dangerous if your animal is so inclined to chew on things. Exactly. So things. I don't know about you, but in my house, I have a lot more cords running through this time of year. <laughs> sure. And things just um, from, from the electricity, you want to be careful with that. Um, and then the other thing, that could be a fire hazard or any candles or anything burning. You just yeah. want to be really careful about that. Um, that. It's a good time of year for candles and stuff, but it you're is. Right. that's something to be mindful of. Hey, that could get knocked over or you leave yeah. it burning or something, and that's not good either. Exactly. So 
just kind of common sense things, just baby proofing your house pretty much with the pets, making sure that and um, that it's a safe environment for them and uh, you know that, that'll make a better holiday season for everybody. A couple things of housekeeping here with uh, Melinda Pribble, the uh, Central Oklahoma Humane Society. We had Nick on the show last week and he now has a home. Yes, he got adopted yesterday on the first day of our 12 days of Catmas. So I miss him already, but he was really incredible. Yeah, and the, the whole, and uh, we're well over 100 episodes at this point. I think that's the first time we've had an adult cat on this show. And kudos for you. <laughs> <laughs> kudos he to was you for special. bringing that in. He was a good guy. He, uh, he was a really even tempered a cat yep. that adjusted well to change in different environments, which normally cats, once they get somewhere else, mm. they'll get a little bit stressed out. But he was a cool cat, and uh, I'm so happy that he found his forever home. Well, good for Nick for finding a home, and you mentioned the 12 Days of Catmas, and remind us what that's all about. We have a promotion sponsored by Hudeberg and Petco uh, this time of year that we are able to do 100 fee-waived cat adoptions December 12th through 24th. So we're really excited about it. Yesterday we had about 40 cats in our adoption center that were available, and we'll keep, as room permits, we'll just keep adding to that over the next um, couple weeks until we can find those um, 100 cats homes for the holidays. So very excited about that. It's a, it's, a great, um, it's a great promotion. Normally that adoption fee is $75. And of course, like all of our pets, they're up to date on all their vaccinations. They've been spayed or neutered. Uh, they're microchipped and just ready to go to their perfect home. Very good. The 12 days of Christmas, uh, 12 days of Catmas underway leading up to Christmas. You also have a gift match underway. Yes, yeah, so one of our generous donors uh, up until December 31st, we have a $30,000 match that and, um, any gift that we receive um, in December will go towards that. So um, we hope to really maximize that and appreciate the community's support so we can help save more lives. Very good. In the meantime, Atticus has some siblings. Uh, he's available for adoption. Again, you can go to their website, okhumane.org. Or go see them in person, 7500 Northwestern, the Central Oklahoma Humane Society. There's the website right there. Melinda, as always, good to see you. Thanks you for too. stopping in. Thank Atticus, you so much. Great to meet you guys. <laughs> You're going to go on a tour in the newsroom here in just a second and make some more friends. No question about it. <laughs> and more Rescue Rundown can be found uh, at newsok.com.